In this tutorial, we're going to combine a crocodile and a frog together in Adobe Photoshop. Sounds fun? Well, it is. So let's jump right in. I'm here in Adobe Photoshop, and I'm working with a canvas that's 1024 by 768 pixels. You can work at any size you prefer. Start off by opening up our first stock image of our frog. I'm going to just copy and paste it here into our document and resize it so it fits into my canvas space. Then, let's grab our crocodile image. I'm going to copy and paste it into my document as well. So this part gets a little tricky, and it takes some practice. We want to make the head of the crocodile match the frog's body, and we need to remove it from its background, too. Let's start off by selecting the general area here. There are many different methods you could use here, but I'm going to use the lasso tool to make a selection. I can just cut out the part I want to save, and then dispose of the extra area. Let's lower the opacity here on the layer where we have our crocodile image, and see if we can get the crocodile head to align with the frog. We can use the transform tools here in Photoshop to adjust the image and help make it match. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet. I'm using a drawing tablet here to make my adjustments. For example, I'm going in with the eraser tool now and removing the excess background around the crocodile. This can be time consuming and a lot of this again takes practice and patience. So take your time and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Once you've got your image cleaned up, and the two of them fit together in a way that you're happy with, we can push the photo manipulation here further. Let's start off by using the Clone Stamp tool to remove the crocodile's eye. With the Clone Stamp tool selected, hold down the Alt key and select an area on the crocodile that you'd like to clone. Then we can draw on top of the eye to cover it up. Notice how it samples the area that we originally selected. Let's do the same thing for the jawline here and make it align better to the frog's facial area. Just select a point to sample from, and then we can go ahead and draw in this extra content. We also want to make sure that the frog's eyes are clearly visible here, so let's use the eraser tool to remove some content here from the top of the crocodile's head. Let's just round it out around the frog's eyes so things fit a little more naturally. Use a soft round brush so the transition here isn't harsh. Next, let's experiment with color. There are a lot of ways you could do this, but we're going to experiment with the color balance. Start off by selecting the crocodile's head. We can do this by holding down Command or Control, and then clicking on the layer's thumbnail. Then let's add an adjustment layer. It's down here in your layers panel. Just select Color Balance. Now let's tweak these colors a little bit. I recommend leaving Preview here toggled on so you can see how your adjustments impact your work. Experiment with your values until you get a result that you're happy with. However, we don't necessarily want this color change inside the crocodile's mouth. So let's go in with the eraser tool again and erase this color from the teeth and mouth area. Again, I'm using a drawing tablet to do this, but you could use your mouse. A soft round brush is best for smoother transitions, whereas a hard round brush will give you harsher edges. You can also go in with your eraser and erase any excess color on the head that you might want to remove. You can lower the opacity of your eraser as well if you'd like to remove just some but not all of your content. For example, I can take a little off the nose area if I'd like to. Let's add some highlights with the Dodge tool just to lighten part of our image. I'm going to draw this again with my drawing tablet. We can also add some shading. One way I could potentially do this is with the Burn tool. I'm going to do so under the crocodile's chin so it casts a more realistic shadow onto the ground. I'm adding this on the frog image underneath. Again, it's important to take your time with this process. Photo manipulation is an artful process that requires patience and practice, a keen eye, and comfort with your tools. However, these concepts can transfer over to a wide variety of projects and possibilities.
And here's a look at our final outcome. Our little crocodile frog is ready to go. I had a lot of fun with this project, and I hope you did too. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and happy designing!